Hey everybody, it's Judy, and today we're back with another tutorial. This one's gonna be more focused on smart contract deployment. We're gonna be going through the process of deploying an ERC-20 token to a single chain on Coin Network. Uh, the best place to start for anything deployment-wise is going to be to go to the Hardhat example repo uh, in the Dominant Strategies organization on GitHub. Uh, this will be the easiest way to deploy a contract at the moment. Uh, so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to actually clone this repo. So copy this link. We're going to head on over to our terminal. We're going to run git clone on the repo. And once we've cloned the repo, we're going to navigate into the repo. Sorry, I'll make this a bit bigger. Hopefully that you guys can see that. Um, so we're going to CD into our hat example. And one thing I want to clarify here is if we clear this, we run an LS, we see everything that's inside the repo at the moment. Uh, so the kind of baseline structure of this is we have a Solidity folder and a Solidity X. If you're deploying single chain, always go with Solidity. It's going to be way easier. If you're more advanced and you want to kind of experiment with multi-chain stuff, I would recommend checking out the Solidity X repo. Uh, but for all intents and purposes today, we're going to be deploying a simple contract to one chain. So we're going to use the Solidity directory. Um, so one of the most important things here is if we run an ls-a, which shows us all files, we have an environment file here, the env.dist. And so that's going to be kind of our main hub for all of our private keys, all of our token information for our deployment. And so what we're going to want to do is copy this sample file and dot dist into an actual file called dot um, And from here, we can open this up, I guess, in VS Code. And we'll see that it's pop up the terminal as well. We have our m.dist, which is the sample file, and then our environment file, which is uh, for us to actually go through and edit. Um, and so what we'll do is I'm going to use a throwaway private key that I've got stored over here just for this deployment. Uh, go back to VS Code. And because we're deploying on Cypress 1, I'm going to replace this Cypress 1 private key. And the other thing that we're going to want to configure inside of our environment file is our ERC20 arguments. So what I'm going to call this is Judy token. Sure. And then we'll make the symbol uh, JDIT, JDIT. And then uh, we'll make the max supply like 100 bazillion. Um, and so now that we've configured all of our kind of relevant stuff for a single chain deployments, which is going to be the ERC20 arguments, as well as our Cypress one private key or whatever chain you're deploying, um, we can go ahead and go on into the solidity um, folder and check out our contract stuff cool so now that we're inside the solidity folder i'll open it up here on the side um, and I'll cover kind of a few basic things uh, we have our contracts in here which is going to be our erc20 and then our erc721 we'll be deploying the erc20 today uh, we also have our scripts that do the deployments so you'll run these to actually deploy the contracts with uh, with some config and then the last real big thing here is Hard hat config. Um, so this is kind of just a general, you know, config file for routing all of the addresses. You guys don't need to worry about this. But now that we've kind of gone through the basic overview, I want to make sure we install all of our node dependencies, which is going to just be npm i. Make sure when you run this, this is inside of the Solidity or Solidity X directory. Um, we'll give it a sec to download kind of all of the basic stuff. And so now that we have our node modules folder that's shown up, that means we have all of our dependencies installed. And lastly, clear this out again, um, we're going to run the deploy ERC20.js script. And so what this does is it pulls our ERC20 name, our ERC20 symbol, and the initial supply from that config file at the beginning, which is this .end file right here, um, and then creates kind of a network connection and actually deploys the token. So to actually run this script, oh, oh that was a little too big. We're going to run npx hardhat run, and then we're going to do scripts, which is the directory that we want to run from. And then we're going to do deploy erc20, not 721.js. And the last thing that I kind of want to make sure you guys do is this does take in a config, or actually I should say network flag. Um, so I'm going to do dash dash network, and then the network that I want to deploy to. So we're going to deploy to Cypress 1. You could also, you know, do Cypress 3, or you could do Paxos, I can't spell here, Paxos 2, uh, but for today, we're gonna deploy to Cypress 1. Perfect. Um, and that's kind of it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run this command, which will actually deploy our token. Uh, uh, it's giving me an 
new version of node warning. So it's gonna compile our contracts here. Uh, compiled all 17 because we're using some extensions from Open Zeppelin. Uh, we can see that the transaction hash is printed here and that it's waiting for the transaction to be mined. Um, so we'll just sit here. Oh, that was quick. And so now we can see our ERC-20 was deployed to this contract address. You can pop this in, go check it out. Uh, you know, Mint, do kind of any of the basic smart contract stuff, uh, which I have scripts for elsewhere. Um, and yeah, our tokens deployed. We used uh, 724,000 gas, which is actually relatively cheap for an ERC-20 deploy. And your token is now live on the network. So, hope this was fun. Hope you guys like the, uh, the little bit more techie tutorials, trying to make these somewhat complex topics pretty simple. Um, and hope you guys start deploying ERC-20s on Cypress One. See you guys later.